In the recent age, we see that English language is spreading throughout the world. It has become internationally popular language. People around the world are not only accustomed to using the language, rather they feel they feel proud of using it. They pay attentive ear and respectful look to those who speak English. So, May praise be to Allah, the creator of the words, and peace and blessings be upon his prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the head of all messengers, upon his family and all his companions. I want to speak something on the topic of importance of English language for Dawah. Allah said in the Holy Quran, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُزِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ We did not send any messenger but speaking in the language of his people so that he might clearly convey the message to them. So Allah lets go astray whom he wills. And let's find guidance whom he wills. He is the mighty and wise. Language is the means of communication for people. From this viewpoint, every language has its own importance. It can be used to convey a message to the speakers of the particular language. But if any secures international status, it grows more significant. Since it will have a vast perspective for any activity to be carried out through that medium. In the recent age, we see that English language is spreading throughout the world. It has become internationally popular language. People around the world are not only accustomed to using the language, rather they feel, they feel proud of using it. They pay attentive ear and respectful look to those who speak English. So, it is not only a medium of communication, rather it leaves a lot of effect and impact over people. On the other hand, English is the language of science and technology. The language of the major international media is English. The anti-Islamic elements spread many misconceptions about Islam and Muslims through this language. Therefore, no doubt, learning English is very very useful and important for the dawa purpose. We should learn this language due to its importance. We should use it as a source to defend Islam and Muslims. So it is not only allowed to learn this language, rather it is kind of hikmah, wisdom, which Allah ordered to apply in the words. Ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawizatil hasana wajadilhum billatihi ahsan inna rabbaka wa a'lamu bimawzal an sabili wa a'lamu bil muhtadin Invite people to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good counsel and argue with them in the best of manners Surely your Lord knows best the one who deviates from his way and he knows best the ones who are on the right path. Islam allows using every lawful means. It does not forbid learning a language for good reason, as no evil lies in learning. Rather, it is a sunnah to learn new language to defend Islam and Muslims. The Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace, was reported to have asked Hazrat Zaid bin Sabit, may Allah be pleased with him, to learn Syriac language. As he did not trust the Jews who used to communicate him in this very language. Dear audience, this is the reason that our ulama and elders have always regarded learning English as lawful. Rather, better for the purpose of Dawah. But it is unfortunate that they malign for sins which they never committed. People blame them that they banned English learning. Whereas what the banned was English culture, not the language. All great ulama from Shah Abdul Aziz Muhaddis Delvi, Walana Abdullahi Frangi Mahali, down to Mawlana Rashid Ahmed Gangohi, 
Bolan Ashraf Ali Thanvi have endorsed learning English as language. And how can they deny this natural phenomenon and fact that Allah sent down countless prophets and messengers to different times and places with the language of their people. These prophets invited people to Allah in the language of their people understood. As the words I recited in the beginning says, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ فَيُزِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ يَشَاء وَيَهْدِي مَنْ يَشاء وهو الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ We did not send any messenger but speaking in the language of his people so that he might clearly convey a message to them. So Allah lets go astray whom he wills and lets find guidance whom he wills. He is the mighty and wise. And the end of our call is praise be to Allah, the Lord of all the words. Wa akhru da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, ma'assalam, ilal liqa.